Welcome and hello. Uh, this is going to be a lesson for beginners, but I've got a feeling a lot of non-beginners will be interested as well. It's really about special lenses for small format uh, sensors, as opposed to full frame sensors. And there's an awful lot of people that don't really understand how to identify one or the other and what the importance is of one or the other. So we're going to go through it, and I'm going to go through it only for Canon and Nikon, because there are so many other makes that, that really don't make that many lenses and they rely on other manufacturers. Um, so let's get on, and we'll start with Canon, and I'll come in with Nikon from time to time. Come on in. Now there's one very important thing to realise talking about lenses and demystifying it all because it can get quite complex um, you have to remember that some cameras have a sensor and the sensor picks up the image has a sensor about that size or those, certainly those proportions a 35mm SLR camera before digital would take an image a full frame image we call it now, some of our digitals have that, but those are the very expensive ones. Those are the ones that cost £2,000, £3,000. Beautiful quality. But our digitals, the smaller ones, have a sensor in them that do that. Now, this, of course, means we're going to get a different result. Now, I'll show you what happens. If I take that photograph... That would be, for example, a full frame, full frame image. But if I take this one, that is the smaller sensor image. So what it's doing, it's cutting down that image. It's like you're taking a pair of scissors and cutting off the edge. So to get that result with that size, I'm going to have to change the lens. And this is where it gets complicated. Now the manufacturers in their great wisdom have made lenses just for the small format sensor. All the old lenses that we used on film and the super, bon super good quality lenses that professionals buy are for full frame. So if you're buying a lens you've got to know which is which. Now, is it a good thing they've done this? Uh, yes, because it makes the lenses a lot cheaper for, for the amateur with the small sensor. But it gets things a bit more complicated. This is about the 20th time I've tried to record this. Um, if you look at the blue line, it represents a full frame camera. If you look at the green line, it represents a Nikon, cropped frame Nikon. And if you look at the red line, it's a cropped frame Canon. Now note the crop factor for each one. So if we have a 150mm lens on a full frame camera, and we divide it by the 1.5 crop factor, we come to a 100mm lens. What we're saying with that is that the 100mm lens will give us the same result as the 150mm lens on a full frame camera. Now for the Canon, if we have a 150mm lens on a full frame Canon, we divide it by 1.6, it means we need a 93mm lens to have the same result. So it's comparatively easy to work out, even if you don't really need to work it out. The important thing is to have the lens on the camera that you like, the image that you see through the viewfinder. Now when I said it's not really important because it's what you like through the viewfinder, that is absolutely true. But if you're talking to someone about lenses and you're saying, for example, you're asking what is the best lens for a portrait and he replies, for example, 90mm, is that a 90mm for full fr a full frame camera or is it for a small, fr a small sensor camera? <coughs> Excuse me. 
So you see, it's quite, it's very important when you're talking to people, read, reading articles in magazines, you have to know which camera they're talking about. And this has become an enormous complication. For example, we always used to consider a 50 millimeter lens a normal lens. It's the lens that your eye will understand the best. It's not near to the eye because of course the eye sees at an enormous uh, angle of view. But it's the lens nearest to the eye. Now, that's only on a full frame camera. A normal lens on a smaller frame is between 33, 36 millimeter, depending on the size of your sensor. Very important, all this. Now with a Canon camera, it's very simple to see the difference between the lenses. The full frame lenses have a red spot on them and the cropped frame lenses have a white square. Now, of course, on the crop frame camera, you can put either lens. So we just put the white square to white square and screw it onto the camera. That of course is the kit lens and several other lenses that Canon make. Don't forget that the ones with the red spot are fine, they'll work on your camera, but all you'll see is the center of the image. Now another way of telling if it's a Canon lens and on most lenses, it will say EF-S. Now that means it's an EF lens, which could be frame, um, a full frame or the smaller sensor. And the S means the lens is the special type just for the small sensor. Well, Nikon only have one dot. They have a white dot, both on the lens and the body. Now, how do we know? How do we know that the lens is for a full frame or for a reduced frame camera? Well, Nikon really do want you to know. This DX that they have uh, on the lenses means that it's for a reduced sensor. Now, it's not the only place they have it. They have it on the front of the lens as well. Um, it says AF hyphen S. Now, don't forget, it, don't get confused between the EF S on Canon. This is an AF hyphen S Nikkor DX lens. Now, of course, there are lots of other manufacturers and other manufacturers may use other systems to identify the lenses. So, you're going to have to look at each one and do a little bit of research on the internet because there's much too much for me to look at all those manufacturers. Um, I hope that that's helped demystify a little bit lenses. There'll be a lot more to come in other lessons. Bye.